In this video we're going to be making ourselves a flat design of a mobile phone using Adobe Illustrator. As you can see on your screen you've got an example of what the finished product is going to look like. To get started today we'll head up to the file menu and make ourselves a new document. And from the options at the top we want to choose the web templates and select the 1280 by 1024 pixel document. You can also type the sizes into the width and height panels here if you want. Click on create and you'll get a white canvas on your screen which we do need to change to pink. So to do that we're just going to grab our rectangle tool from our toolbox, change the fill color over here to pink. Okay now if you're in your swatches panel just select pink or you can come over to the color mixer here and just drag this middle lever all the way over to the left and that will change the fill color to pink. The stroke color is the border color. Okay, we want to get rid of the stroke on this shape, so choose the white box with the red line through it. If you're in the color mixer, just yeah, choose the same box. All right, now starting in the top left-hand corner, get right on the intersection there and click and drag all the way down to the bottom right corner so your whole page is filled in with pink. Using a selection tool there, just click off it. Yeah, it's looking good. So go to your Layers panel now and just hit the little arrow next to Layer 1 to expand it. Make it open there and choose the rectangle layer. That's your pink rectangle layer. I want you to hit this empty box here next to the little I as that will lock that pink rectangle into place and we can no longer move it around or modify it in any way by mistake. Okay, so it's locked into position. So now we can draw our mobile phone on top of this pink background. And the way we start our mobile, mobile phone is with a rounded rectangle tool. So hold your mouse down on the rectangle tool Select the rounded rectangle tool from the flyout menu there. Back in the properties panel, change your fill color just to white. And I'm going to draw a fairly large rounded rectangle on the page, which resembles the shape of a mobile phone. Once you've drawn it on, grab your selection tool, which is the black arrow, move it somewhere towards the center of the page, and click on any one of these little white circles that you see around the outside of the mobile phone there, and simply click and drag one in towards the center of the phone just to round the corners off of your mobile phone a little bit more so it looks a bit more realistic. So that's how it should be looking, the body of your mobile phone. The next thing you want to do is draw the screen onto the phone and the way we do that is use the rectangle tool again. So go back and select your rectangle tool from your toolbox, change your fill color over here. Now I've gone over to the little color palette here which is the color mixer panel. And I'm going to type in a hexadecimal code for my screen. So this is a six-digit code which represents different colors. The code we want to type in is 33363D and press enter. You'll see that your um, fill color changes to a darkish gray. Now the screen starts and ends just after these curves. Okay, so follow the curve of the corner around. Go down a little bit probably start your screen, oh, let's say about there, right on the edge of that mobile phone body. Now come down the bottom and get it in a pos similar position so that you've got the same amount of white space at the top and bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're about to perfect it in a sec. It should look something like that when you're done. Now with your selection tool I want you to click and drag over the top of both items so they're both highlighted. And I want you to go to Window Menu and Align. Now in the Align panel we can align our objects in different ways. We want to choose Vertical Align Center. Okay, you might have seen a very slight movement then, which basically put the screen in the center of our mobile phone. Okay, so that's a good start. Next thing I'm going to do is put a bit of a shadow or reflection across the mobile phone screen. And the way we're going to do that is with the Pen Tool. Okay, it's a tricky tool to get used to, but what we're doing with it today is quite simple. I'm going to change the fill color to something a little bit darker. So in my color mixer tab here, I'm going to change this six digit code to 1C1F26. So 1C1F26, press enter. Your fill color changes to a slightly darker color. And we're going to start our shadow in the top right corner of the screen. So when you see that intersection appear, click once and let go. You'll see that a blue line is now following your mouse. It's looking for the next point that we're going to put into the next uh, into the shape we're making. So come across to your left a little bit, not too far, and click again. 
and move your mouse cursor down towards the bottom left corner of that screen, not quite in the corner, so about there, and we'll click again. And you can come across to the right hand corner now of the screen, and on that intersection we'll just click one more time. And that draws a bit of a shadow across our screen. So press escape twice to turn that tool off. Grab your selection tool at the top and just click off everything for a moment. And you can see now our screen's got a little bit of depth. I think it looks quite good. We want to join these two shapes together now. So just click on the bottom one, which is the darker color. Hold shift on your keyboard and click on the lighter gray. And then right click your mouse and group those two darker colors together. So now that screen is one big shape. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is draw a little speaker at the top that you would listen to someone um, talk to you through. We're going to use the rounded rectangle for that. We'll change the fill color yet again. And we're going to change the code down the bottom to 343740. That's another darkish gray. I'm going to zoom in a little bit at the top here and just draw myself a skinny gray speaker. Okay, as you'd expect to see on a mobile phone. So probably something or like that. Okay, now we're going to duplicate that and put one down at the bottom here as well. So you can either copy and paste it just by pressing Control C and then Control V, or you can use your selection tool at the top. Hold Alt while this is selected, and when your mouse cursor changes to black and white arrows, you can click and drag off, and you'll get a second shape. Okay, so just move that second shape now down the bottom. Okay, now this bottom shape, if you zoom in, is going to be a little bit smaller. So lengthways, we just need to reduce it. So with it still selected, hold the Alt key on your keyboard. Grab one of these middle anchor points and just resize it so it comes in a bit towards the center. Okay, so the microphone, whoop, the microphone's not quite as big as the speaker at the top. Now what we want to do is get these gray bits positioned right in the center of the phone. Okay, so we're just going to highlight everything on our page. Go back to our Align panel, so in Window, choose Align. And this time we're going to choose this option, the Horizontal Align Center. So that will horizontally align all elements that we've got selected. Okay, so now that speaker and microphone are smack bang in the center of our phone. The last thing we need to add in is just a tiny little circle up the top here, which would be our selfie camera. So the camera that goes on the front of the phone. So I'll zoom in up here. Start simple by grabbing our ellipse tool, which is another name for a circle tool. Change our fill color. Again, I'm going to type in a code here to a, a lightish gray. So A1A, um, 6AA is the code we're looking for. So A1A, 6AA. Press enter, hold shift, and draw yourself a little circle. Okay, now we're going to put a stroke around this circle, which is a border. Okay, so turn your stroke on. Um, I'm going to go up to, I'll say five point, and I'm going to change the color of it too. Okay, I want the, um, actually I might change this around. I'm going to put the stroke here as A1A6AA, the same as our fill color. But then I'm going to change my fill color to a darker one. Sorry about the mix up here. I might go CED7E0. So we've got a darker outside and a lighter inside. I think it would have looked a bit silly the other way around. So zooming in now, you can just use your black arrow, your selection tool, to resize that a bit, get it situated somewhere next to the um, speaker at the top. Press Control-0 to zoom back out to full screen. It'll look just something like that. Okay, quite simple. And that's our mobile phone all done. So save that up um, if you want to export it for the web. You'll just go to export and export for screens and just save it as a PNG file. Okay, you also have an option there to change it to a JPEG if you want. The other option is if you want to leave it as a vector file, so you can keep um, resizing it as much as you want without losing quality, just save as. Either save it as an AI file, an EPS file, or if you're printing, a PDF file would be a good option. Alright, so that is our tutorial on how to make a flat design mobile phone.